right, left, left, right. Uh, I learned, I learned, you see. Um, you know, it, it's a pleasure to be here tonight. It's a surreal experience for me. Um, I'll just tell you a quick anecdote and then we'll jump into uh, this next performer. Um, I grew up in this area. I grew up in Wexford, Pennsylvania, and I'm returning here. Um, at a very early age, I was deemed legally mute at the age of six years old because of a severe stutter. After years of speech therapy, they suggested to me as a last resort, really, to go to a theater school. Something about the memorization process or having a scene partner or um, having something to do made me communicate for the first time in my life. So, Instead of an accolade from you tonight, what I want to do um, collectively is to thank this community, um, to thank the private schools in this area, to thank the public schools in this area for giving kids an opportunity to do the thing that I decided to de dedicate my life to do, which is create live theater. Uh, I think it's the most important thing we can do, and I encourage you to keep supporting these kids because you have no idea what theater can do for an individual. Twenty-five years later, uh, I make my living as a director, and I have been lucky enough to uh, return to my alma mater for the first time in my adult life to direct uh, this spring's production of Legally Blonde, which is a show that is near and dear to my heart. Um, uh, based on the novel by Amanda Brown and the subsequent uh, movie of the same name, uh, starring Reese Witherspoon, of course, uh, it has a wonderful score by Lawrence O'Keefe and Nell Benjamin with a witty book by Heather Hatch. Now, Elle Woods, of course, is our heroine in this piece. Uh, she is Delta News president of that sorority at UCLA, and she journeys to Harvard Law School to find her ex-boyfriend, but eventually to find herself. Uh, Legally Blonde is a fun, bubbly, bright pink musical, but at its core, it is a heartwarming story of self-discovery, uh, the abandonment of stereotypes and the strength of women. And if there's a more apt moral right now uh, to be telling for young adults, I don't know what it is. Yeah, yes. Uh, so accompanied by Miss Jamie Maza, who is uh, one of our wonderful music directors, and featuring a sophomore and one of the most talented individuals, uh, certainly at this age, I've had the pleasure of working with. She carries this gigantic musical on her little blonde shoulders. I introduce to you Miss Emma Hackworth singing the Act One Closer so much better.